Wow, keep messing up here. Greetings, so welcome. Thank you for stopping by here on TikTok Live. If you're logging in live, which is Tuesday, June the 7th, 2022. If you're logging in live, otherwise later on YouTube, just welcome. Thank you for stopping by here at The Real. Bloom from Within Love, I go by Bloomy. And this is, earlier you guys saw the stars, right? The sparkly stars, I stopped, I was able to come in and do the DDD, the daily dose of good dharma, for those of you who resonate with that daily dose of the good karma, right? And so um, now you guys are seeing a different effect. Pretty soon you're gonna see lightning strike probably with this effect come straight down the screen. It did it a moment ago. So essentially, this portion is to continue to validate and vindicate those of you who are on an ascension path. You are high vibrational beings, meaning that you are loving in nature. You're on your healing journey. Uh, every day you try with all you have to be the best version of yourself, not only for yourself, but for humanity. And uh, this is to vindicate you in terms of the injustices that you have endured in this life, okay, maybe in other lifetimes. And um, these are individuals that you could have cut off or someone could have cut off because it depends on who's listening. Someone could have cut off in the past, just people who did your shit ain't. Narcissists, you know, karmics, low vibratory individuals, liars and thieves and stealers and whores, oh my, liars and thieves and whores, oh my, liars and thieves and whores, oh my. Liars and thieves and whores, oh my, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so this is to give you guys just a little, you know, the guys don't want you to fixate in this energy, but just like they're giving you, reminding you about your daily dose of Dharma, they're wanting to ensure you to build up your confidence, to build up your trust in your journey and in them as your guides that you can rest to shore, bet you your bottom dollar, um, People are starting to receive a daily dose of bad karma, um, no matter how much they try to hide that from the world. Some of them won't be able to hide it very long, okay? Because some of the stuff that some of these individuals are starting to go through is to such an extent that everybody that they've ever known um, is seeing some things play out. So it's getting harder and harder to you know have this illusion this facade um stand up okay so we're not gonna tarry but i've been guided to try even though i'm on the go and on the move and doing other stuff but as a part of what i do uh with bloom from within love to get the high vibe tribe to focus more on the daily dharma but to vindicate them and confirm and validate them the daily dose of bad karma for anybody who fuck with them in a the wrong way, okay? And guess what? It's a part of the lesson. It's the journey on earth school. So it's not as negative as people think because until we ascend and heal and awaken, the only way the human in its lower form can learn in that older template is by pain and suffering, is by the laws of the universe, the Lord of karma, Saturn energy, um, to whatever degree is gonna have to be executed in the name of learning the lesson of cause and effect. You're a thief. You're going to learn a lesson about that. Okay. It's neutral. People get all, the you know, pennies and draws in a bunch. But it's really neutral because it's about learning. It's a journey. So Saturn return energy kicks in and sometimes it's accumulated. Okay. Someone could have thought they were cool and, you know. They can get away with treating people however. They can get away with playing mind games. They can get away with lying. They can get away with whoring. They can get away with stealing. They can get away with doing black magic. They can get away because they, you know, the universe allowed. It was allowed for a time. But the universe is always going to try to balance the skills, okay? Especially when divine beings start to heal and ascend and call judgment. In other words, don't play with it. Okay, injustices must be dealt with. 
Okay? Now, yay. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. <laughs> Daily dose of bad karma. Daily dose of bad karma for those who fuck with the play. <laughs> Come on, y'all laugh now. If it ain't you, because see, if you're a high viber and you're here, right? Let's say you're one of my high vibers. Then this is going to be about the people who fucks with you. Okay? So, like, if y'all hear me, like, my energy shift as the reading go, it's because I be starting to get, either I'm getting pissed off, whoa, okay, and I'm picking up on some grungy energy, right? Or my ancestors are coming through and they're like, indignation is coming through. It ain't towards you, okay? Please, please hear my heart on that. If you're one of my high vibe, you know, viewers, followers, and folks on this path, it's not directed to you then. It's chances are it's directed to the people who fucked with you, okay? That's showing up in the energy, but you'll hear me talk you because sometimes I know when karmics are here too. And when I get into a vein, I don't think much about it. And so if I come out with like, you know, saying, get your shit together, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you know, but just know if you happen to be one of the persons that that ain't you, don't, don't trip, don't trip because it ain't you then. But if you hear me saying you bet your bottom dollar, then there must be a smell karmic energy <laughs> somewhere lurking about, about, about. I've always loved the Canadian accent. Anyway, I digress. About, let me get into the, the reading here. Hmm. Just sounds all super elegant and stuff. All right, let's get the overall energy. Same deck. We're using this um, spiritual AF at the heart like I usually do. All right, set your intentions, light team. I did another Akashic clearing today. And all I can say, I did a different type. I did different areas. And um, wow. Wow. All I can say is ancestors came through very strongly. Goddesses, energies came through. It was a very deep clearing um, and I'm still kind of feeling a little bit high, <laughs> but you know, and the, the good high. Okay. I don't do drugs and alcohol. <laughs> I promise. Okay. All right. So chill. It's the good kind. All right. <sighs> and I feel like it was on behalf of collective because my life is, I'm here. I'm here. Is to, to clear my own lineage and ancestry. I chose to carnate into certain lineages to work on that, to clear that, and to heal my own wounds and traumas, of course. But it's not just for me. It's never been just for me. Okay? It's for the collective conscious that I chose to carnate to in some shape, form, or fashion. Somehow be able to assist. Okay? Those who are divinely guided, not bullied into, divinely guided, not forced into, Divinely guided, not guilt tripped it into. Divinely guided, not told that if you don't do it, you're going to die. Okay? But your soul pulls you when you're ready. Okay? Because it's about your path and your journey and no one else's at the end of the day. Right? Okay. Well, now, what's at the heart? Daily dose of bad karma for, for those who fuck with my fuckers. Okay? <laughs> Oh, shit. Well, what's the best that could happen? Oh, boy. I know y'all can't see the card. Man, I wish the, the lightning come out again. Where's the lightning? This The lightning should have came out when I said that. Whoa. Lightning. Lightning. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it says, uh, what's the best that could happen? You're probably super good at thinking of worst case scenarios. I'm going to stop right there. The daily dose of bad karma is these folks are in anxiety and they are thinking of everything that is about to happen or is happening to them. Okay. So it's a state of mind. They're stressing. This has been a theme. I think that was the energy yesterday. Okay. So at the heart of their bad karma is, is stress. Their daily dose is they have to live in a state of stress. Okay. Daily dose of bad karma. So in other words, when you live a lifestyle of fucked up at some point, it becomes a stressful life because now you have to try to figure out ways to cover your tracks. Now you have to figure out new and innovative ways, right? Interesting. What happened to the screen there? You guys see it? Hold on. 
it may be about to go out because it's just, I don't know if it's frozen or if it's doing some weird, somebody, uh, this is what's going on with their daily dose. Of, <laughs> their daily dose of bad karma is they get no movement. It's looking bleak. You see what I'm saying? Look at this. I don't know if you guys see what I see. But that's a part of it. Probably, that, damn. Okay. Well, well, well. Let me let me change that. Let me let me pause real quick. This is what somebody feel. Okay. It's happening, y'all. It's happening. I'm back. <laughs> I ain't going nowhere. Sorry about that interruption, you guys. There are some internet technical difficulties, but I ain't going nowhere. I promise you that. I will get these messages out. I'm back. Greetings. Sorry for that pause there, but we will get the messages out. So I'm going to reiterate since there was like a little one, two minute pause there. I am going to reiterate the heart of the reading that already came out through Spiritual AF, picking up the energy as the daily dose of bad karma. The daily dose of bad karma for those who obviously did some injustices to folks, was malicious in nature towards some folks, divine beings, and this is a part of their daily dose of bad karma, okay? So at the heart, I am reiterating, at the heart, I says, what's the best that could happen? So for them, a daily dose of stress, a daily dose of worst case scenarios, okay, is either what's happening and or what is going on in their mind, okay? And so essentially what happens, as I said earlier on this live, is that surely as their daily dose of dharma, the karma accumulates, okay? And it's about Saturn energy, okay? Meaning when folks are unhealed and unawakened and still stuck in that 3D template and, um, you know, that fear ego-based energy, the reason why this happens is in the name of lessons, okay? That's what we all live here for, lessons, okay? So for those who are not awakened, their method of learning remains Saturn in nature, Okay, ding dong, Sat the, the grace kicks in for the ascendants. Okay, the grace, mercy, energies kick in for the awakenings. Okay, but those who are hell bent on being karmic or staying asleep or being toxic and malicious to folks, there the Lord of Karma continues to rule because that's Saturn energy. So Saturn return kicks in. You're a thief. You're going to learn a lesson about that. You're a liar. You're going to end up learning lessons about that. You're a whore. You're going to end up learning lessons about that. You do spell work. You're going to end up learning a lesson about that. Whatever the investments have been in a malicious way, these individuals, okay, because if you're a high viber, then I'm not referencing you. If you're a high viber, I'm, I'm referencing the individuals who did fucked up shit to you, okay? 
So just bear with me here. I'm just trying to look at the, uh, the connection and see what happens here. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do this again. <laughs> 